Did you know that the walk-in bathtub industry has a dirty little secret that they're trying to keep from you? Hi, my name is George Bentley. I'm the founder of Bentley Baths Walk-In Therapy Tubs and since 2002 I've been trying to help seniors, their loved ones, and people with health and mobility issues discover the huge benefits that a high quality, properly designed and installed walk-in bathtub can provide to us as we grow older. And one of the big benefits is I can expose myself to literally life-altering natural therapies and healing processes. But I can't do that under certain circumstances. And those are the circumstances that the other folks in the walk-in bathtub industry don't want you to know about. In particular, what I'm talking about is the fact that they will put water-jetted systems on your tub or low-end air systems. Either one of these processes can be very, very dangerous for you. The problem is when we bathe in a personal bathing appliance, let's face it, okay, it's not, it's not a real clean, pro in fact, that's the whole point, right, is I'm cleaning myself, but the issue is all of my body materials, the oils, the filth, the fecal matter, the, the dead skin, the body fluids, all of these things get into the bath water and when I have a water jetted therapy system that is taking that bath water and putting it into piping and then pumping it back into the tub I set up an unhealthy environment an environment that will allow the development and growth of what's called biofilm or biomaterial this is actually mold bacteria growing organisms that develop in the piping. Now listen, the industry is going to tell you, oh, we've got uh, drains, we, you know, we've got the piping at a slope so it drains out, you don't have to worry about standard uh, standing in water in the tub. The issue, the industry standard is according to ANSI, which is one of the safety regulatory uh, bodies that, that inspects all these tubs, they're all going to leave at least, at least 10 tablespoons of water in the in the piping you can't get rid of all of it but it doesn't take much the other issue is that even with the water standing this grunge this filth will attach to the materials inside the piping so the best way i know to describe it to you is think if you had a regular bathtub not a jetted tub just a regular bathtub and you bathed in it every day and you never cleaned the bathtub right you'd have this biomass, what we call it a soap scum ring, right? Form around the perimeter of the tub. And the only way you can disinfect that tub is to mechanically disinfect and scrub it to get it off with some sort of disinfecting solvent. Can't do that inside the hard piping of a jetted tub. Now what the people in the industry will tell you is that you can pour bleach into it, you can put dishwashing liquid in it, uh, vinegar, baking soda, whatever. There's a lot of uh, kind of home remedies, if you will, they'll suggest you can use to disinfect. And the bottom line is they don't work. They just flat don't work. So, so that you know, okay, I'm attaching a link to an article. Um, the expert in this area is a doctor, a microbiologist from Texas A&M. Her name is Dr. Rita Moez, with an M. And this doctor researches water jetted tubs for sanitation. I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe she works for the hospital industry. But you can read all the dirty little details, I'm telling you. But Dr. Noez is very clear that 100% of water jetted tubs contain unacceptable levels of contamination. And again, I'm not going to go into it here, but I'll attach the content. I wrote a little article on this. Um, you can, you can, I've got the link to the website where you can read through the research if you want to. Uh, but these home remedies do not solve the problem under any circumstances. I mean, just look at all the filth and the scum, right? It's pretty scary. Now, this is also true of air jetted tubs as well. Now our medical hydrotherapy we rely on an air jetted process but in order for it to be medical hydrotherapy and to stay sanitary what that means is what's in the bathing well has to go down the drain and not get into any of the plumbing and piping and unfortunately even some of the higher end tubs out there walk-in tubs use low-end air systems jets we use medical grade stainless steel jets that have a check valve in them and this check valve is going to prevent 
the dirty, filthy water from getting into the airlines. Um, and then we also have a, a self-cleaning cycle. So there you go. Read up on it. But whatever you do, you should invest in a walk-in therapy tub. You should not invest in any tub that has a water jetted system on it. And you should make sure that the tub you get is not only the right one for you in the highest quality, but that the system on that qualifies as medical hydrotherapy. Okay? You'll be glad you did. I guarantee it. I love you all. Hang in there. Thanks.